guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part, we defeated the Imprisoned for the third and final time, and Gruus told us that he can throw us over the wall with the Grusinator so that we can actually get into Farron Woods after it was flooded for some sort of mysterious reason. So in this part, we're going to be heading to Farron Woods using the Grusinator, and I'm going to try to get these birds, especially that blue one. Careful! Slow and steady wins the race. Unless the bird keeps fucking hopping away from you. I'm gonna grab you first. Okay, well, there's one bird feather. Could be worse. So we got two bird feathers now. Not that I'm really gonna need them. Uh, and they all were scared away. Whatever. Definitely need some hearts. I did absolutely horrible at that fight with the prison, but luckily that is the last time we do have to face him in the game. Unless you want to get a certain power-up, and then you have to face him... Well, really, there's no definite amount that you have to face him, but... You're gonna have to face him again, no matter what. If you want the upgrade that I'm, of course, gonna get, because it is a pretty awesome upgrade. Anyways, where's Groose? Okay, he's right over here. Put me in the Groosinator. Put, put me in the Groose. Fine, I have to talk to you. Whatever. Want to hit a fair woods, do ya? No sweat, just hop into the Groosinator, and I'll fling you right over. Alrighty. Alright, hop in and I'll take care of the flinging. You just worry about the landing. Um, are you sure this is the best way? Okay. thought there was another passage into the woods. But if you and Sisgrus... I give it about an 8. Pretty big splash. Probably would have lost to China, but... I didn't notice, but I think there's a different soundtrack for Farron Woods while it's all flooded. But this is Farron Woods, and it's all flooded. In case you couldn't tell by the giant panning shot and the fact that we're in, like, a hundred feet of water. Let's go talk to what's-his-name. Uh... I forgot this guy's name already. I think it's Busca? I'm not positive, though. What do you have to say about this entire flooding? Oh, Koo! You! You're that one that came before! Come to think of it, I forgot to ask your name! I say Beaver, is it? That's an odd name, Koo! Uh, what breaks you to see me? Um, this water? Koo! It's good to see you again. Yeah, things look a bit different here, don't they? The water came gushing out of the cave of the Wait, the base of the tree there behind me and flood the entire woods. I don't know what caused it, but I suppose it will clear out the monster infestation. Koo, cool. so you won't hear me complaining. Well, that's certainly a plus. Um, but, you know, the entire thing is flooded. Alright, well, I guess we should probably head down to the base of the tree. If we can make it down there. Of course there's air bubbles, so I guess we're good. A lot of people hate this section. I don't think it's too bad. I mean, there's certainly worse parts of the game. I like this better than the stupid bird mini game we did two parts ago. I, I just went off on a rant on that. It was absolutely stupid of me. Oh well, whatever. I, I thought that part was stupid. Oh well, whatever. It's an entire water-based section, and it's not too bad. I mean, it does control a bit odd because it's all underwater, but yeah, it's not too bad. Although the second part is kind of annoying. Hey, it's a Perella just chilling inside the tree. Well, that's awfully odd. There's tons of Perellas in here. They were supposed to be at Lake Floria, not inside the Farron Woods. Let's come on up here and see what's happening. Huh. Nothing good. It's flooding there, too. Maybe I didn't need to come out of the base of the tree. Let's see. Uh, nothing up there, so might as well just not jump in the water, didn't mean to do that. Come over here, and we will exit the tree and just climb up a bit. Or we won't, because there will be a cutscene that I don't remember at all. That's always fun.
Who dares to dip a, even a toe in my waters without my leave? Oh. oh, I remember you. You're the young human who helped me recover from my injuries some time ago. Ah, Beaver, was it? Hmm. Let's have a look at you. Yes, you seem a good deal stronger than the last time we met. And look at that sword. You're the real thing, boy. It's clear you have the spirit of the hero of the goddess. Let me guess, you swam all the way here to try to get me to teach you the part of the song of the hero the goddess entrusted to me. <laughs> That's all well and good, but I can't go around giving away something that precious to every hero who flounders away into my waters. Now, I think a final test is in order to ensure you are in fact the one meant to hear this melody of mine. This may be news to you, but some very irksome monsters have been overrunning my woods of light. Well, I decided that I've had enough. The easiest way to deal with the awful things was to flood the whole woods. As it happens, almost every inch of greenery in the area is submerged, so it's here, in this flooded land, that I will test you. If you're up to completing the task I ask of you, I see no reason why I should reward you with the melody you seek. As you just saw, I've split the melody you seek among my many tad tones, and I've hidden them around the forest. If you haven't already guessed, Beaver, here's your task. Take this score and collect all my little musical friends out there. You can use that score to figure out how many tad tones are in each group. Find them, collect them, and bring them back to me. If you can do that, well then, I'll just have to see you as someone worthy of learning the song as of the hero. But whatever I was talking about, I don't know how to read. But yes, we have to find all these tad tones, and of course, they're all underwater. So, oh boy, swimming section. There's tons right here, and if you if you do the little spin through there, you'll grab all of them. Unfortunately, you have to grab all of the group extremely quickly, otherwise, it will uh, just go away. I think they do replenish all of your uh, air, so that's good. But you do have to get all of them in one single jump. Or one single, like, run. If you miss one of them, you're pretty much screwed. And that goes for all the ones that are in a line, or all the ones that are in a ring, and whatnot. I remember this section taking quite a while, so this might be a long episode, but you'll know by the amount of time that's on the video. I won't. I won't know how long this is going to take me. Ooh, is that... It's an amber relic. It's not a tattoo at all. But I'll certainly take it. Because I can sell that. It'll be great. Uh, those are purple bubbles. I'm not gonna touch that with a ten-foot pole. Where did that come from? Uh, huh. There's gotta be another one around here. Okay, there's one. Ah, uh, okay. So they're both in those bushes. Makes sense to me. I can crawl underwater? That's a bit odd. Okay. Well, it's pretty much just a scavenger hunt. Oh, hey! You guys... Come here. Oh, yeah. One single spin. I do not have fond memories of this, as far as I remember. I did it early in the morning, and I was kind of tired and just did it. Wait a minute. What is behind there? Oh, Tattoo. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Now, if you would not swim away from me, that'd be great. Thank you. I'm not sure if you can view this via the pause screen. No, you can. Okay. We can see it down there on the bottom, and we are not even close to being halfway done. I might have to cut around a bit in this episode, so I might have to do a lot of editing. Oh god, did not mean to touch that. Oh, holy. I don't even understand how that logically works and takes away my air, but... I recovered, so who cares. Uh, nothing down here. There's gotta be tad tones over here, I'm figuring. I see something in the grass. Might be a tad tone. Looks like it. There's a gel monster around him. Let's see. So there's one single one, and then there's another one. No! No! Get off me! I'm trying to get the tattoo. Oh man. Okay, there's one. And if I just spin, I should probably get the other one. There we go. 
Good job. I'm assuming the Prowlers have tips on where they are, but who really cares? They're not too hard to find. I figure, I hope. I really hope. I don't remember this part too well. I do remember the next mission we have to do for the Song of the Hero. Actually, I remember the next two, both of them are pretty fun, I think. Let's see, you gotta get all these guys in one single run. And if you miss a single one, oh boy, you have to go all the way back. And that'll just be great. Yep, that was stupid of me. Okay, well, that certainly worked. That's convenient. I guess if you spin a decent time, you're good. Oh my god, there's even more than I thought. Alright, well, this is going to take care of a large portion of the Hero of Time. I mean, the Song of Time, not the Hero of Time. Silly me getting things confused. One more! Oh, yeah! So that's going to take care of almost a full row. Thank God for that. Ooh. And you guys are going to take care of a few. So that's going to be special. Uh, if I can line myself up correctly. You know, I'm just going to spin through these guys. Make my life be easier, I guess. Uh, where's the last one? Oh, never mind. That's just a single one. Oh no, the hardest enemy in the game is here. How devastating. Hey, Bieber, some nasty fish seem to have swam their way into the flooded woods. I'd hate to bump into those things underwater, Coop. Watch your toes. Those things are still possibly the easiest enemy in the entire game. I don't think I've ever taken damage to them, ever playing this game. That's how challenging they are. Wait a minute, is this like a wall? Oh, it is. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know how she has a water bending ability. Or a water wall, really. Uh, I think this is where I just got all those purple ones. Let's swim upward and see if I can find anything. It'd be nice if they had, like, some sort of bacon for this, too, like they did for, whatchamacallit, the tears of the goddesses. That'd be nice. So I'd know their general direction. But whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. I don't even think that applies to this one we're talking about. Uh, anyways. I don't think there's any more on this side of the woods, so let's just start swimming back to the other side. Why not? Seems like a good idea. And there's one of those blowfish, so there might be a bombing area somewhere around here. Or there's not, and I'm just going to avoid him. Both work for me. Oh, hey, is that a tattoo in there? Or is that just an amber relic? That looks like he's just an amber relic. Whatever, I'll pick it up. It's worth 30 rupees, might as well. Might help me out in the future. Let's see. There's a heart over there. Maybe some tadtones that I just don't see. Oh, maybe I'm crazy. You know, I actually need that heart. Or not. No, I don't need that heart at all. What was I talking about? I'm perfectly fine. I really want that heart. What is that? Okay, purple bubbles. Did I just swim in a circle? Okay, I'm gonna go over here then. I get really lost when my feet aren't on the ground and I'm kind of just doing this while swimming. Let's see. Nothing over here so far. There's a wall. There's this guy. Ow! Not very nice. But I'll forgive you because I really need to get these tadtones. Wherever they are. Oh my god. Purple bubbles. I think I swam in like a full circle around the entire woods. Oh wait, oh, you guys, you guys stop moving, please, thank you. Okay, if you guys could just swim into me, that'd be really nice of you. Wait, are they swimming away? What the hell? Get back here! Do you know who I am? Do you know what I've gone through to get here? Alright, there we go. Got all those guys. I'm missing a lot of single groups. I can't really see the bottom row too much because the swim command is there. As if I don't know how to swim after I've been doing this the entire time and played through almost all the game. Oh, hey, there's a single tattoo. That's good. Now, if he would not swim away, that'd be great. Of course, he does exactly the opposite of what I just said. Get over here. Thank you. There's a red one. Is that a single one, too? Okay, well, I got quite a bit of the single ones now. Oh, there's probably some over here. 
I can't believe I haven't checked over here yet. That's, this seems like a really good place. Like, all those purple ones are probably in a single row. I mean, that's probably why they're the same color, I guess. That would make sense. I'm an idiot. Oh, they're pink, not purple. Excuse me, I'm colorblind. Try not to hit that. How long have I been doing this? 11 minutes, and we're almost halfway done. This is going to be the longest episode in the entire thing. Can I go into the deep woods, I wonder? Nope, there's a wall, okay. Couldn't see it. Well then, where else can I possibly go? Oh no! One of those fish with the giant foreheads. Yeah, actually, while we're here, I want to check something. Which is, how do I get to that God's Cube? There's usually a tightrope right over here. And I don't think I can drop down well. Can I take out my sword underwater? That'd be great. I wish I had some iron boots. Just hit that. Oh well. I'll find a way eventually. Hopefully it's not a hard piece one. Because that'd be horrible. Especially because I'm going for all the hard pieces. Because that's what I was getting at. You see. Okay. Okay, well, I really have no idea where else I can possibly go. Oh, wait, there's a tattoo over there. Oh, there's a few tattoos. Okay. Well, let's go. Dang it. Missed. Go back. Turn around. There we go. And then miss that one. Okay, whatever. Spinning saves the day. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. What? Crew, Braver, can you hear me? I thought I was something good. Why don't you come and chat with me for a moment? Crew, why can't you just tell me if you can yell all the way down to the bottom? Oh, no. Oh, no. I am about to drown. Uh, I cannot spin either, because that will kill me. Air bubbles. Oh, God. I'm not sure if I'm going to make this. Please. Please don't drown. Please don't drown. There we go. Everything's wonderful in the world. I think this is where Busca is. I think that's his name. Busca, right? Sounds about right. Or it's just a general lily pad. He's all the way over there, okay. Let's just swim over to him. And I'm sure he has some great advice. I actually don't know what he's going to tell me, but I hope it's something involving bacons. Because bacons would be great at a time like this. Maybe there's some on the surface that I'm missing out on. Crew! How nice to see you again, Bieber! How goes the tab town gathering? I'd actually thought of something you might be interested in. No, you see, it's like, her. how should I explain this, Coop? There's a technique you use when searching for the other of my tribe. Remember that? Oh, okay, dousing, that's actually pretty good. Fee, why didn't you think of this? Just take out my dousing ability. There we go. So now I can douse for tad tones. I actually don't remember being able to do this, but that is actually quite great because now not use it underwater. Okay, that makes sense. Um, let's see. There's all, quite a few over there. Um, there seems to be some over here, and another one over there, and another one over there. So I should probably head in this direction first, because there's a lot. And then maybe come back up and surface and check some stuff. Alright. It appeared there was a lot, like, right over here or something. Who knows? Let's see, there's got to be quite a few over here. If I saw that many, we'll just douse him really quick. Ooh, maybe there's some inside the tree. Let's try for that. Why not? Uh, there are absolutely none in the tree. Oh wait, there's one. Get him. Get him. Okay, good. Well, there's another tad tone down. Now, if I could just find some more, that'd be simply. Great. Uh, is that some over there? Yes, it is. Alright, that's certainly wonderful. They're all in a circle. Really long train. Or chain. English is a very hard language. Oh, God. That's pretty hard. And a dash over here. And then I figure I can just dash through these, and all will be good in the world. And we got some more. Okay. Let's see. How much of the bottom row is done? Looks like most of it. I wonder. Anywhere else I can possibly go? Well, worth a shot going over here. Or not, because I've gone through this area about six times now. 
Uh, oh, I just put myself in a horrible, horrible position. Is there anything? Let's just go to the surface, see if I can get anything there. Swim for your life, Beaver. Ah, good. Okay. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to douse really quick. Since I got two of them over here. See what general direction I can go in. Let's see. There's some over there. Some over there. Well, maybe that's the same one. Some over there. And... Well, I'm going to go for this one because it seems to be the closest. Why not? Might as well get this one out of the way, wherever it is. This is going to be the longest episode ever. How far are we? Oh my god, 21 minutes. This is going to be hell to upload. Maybe not to render, but... Um, this is the exact area I was just in. Well, isn't that marvelous? Wait, is that a tattoo? Never mind. It's just a speech bubble. Is that a tattoo down there, though? Uh, no, it's not. I don't know what I was seeing. It must have been a flower. Let's see. There's got to be one somewhere around this general area. At least I hope so. Otherwise, I'm just swimming randomly. Where can it possibly be? Add tone, come out, come out, wherever you are. I've already got the ones that were in there. Oh boy, this is fun. There's also a really large group that I'm missing. There's a single one, then there's a large group. I wonder if I press one, can I see it? No, I can't. That's unfortunate. I'd really like to see it. Wait a minute, what was that? Just on this thing. What the hell is this? Oh, okay, never mind. I know what that is. I'm not going to spoil anything. I might have just spoiled something by pointing it out. Although I doubt it. I really don't have much commentary. We're just swimming around doing pretty much absolutely nothing. And I really can't find any of these tattoons. It's really making me sad. Well, maybe there's some over there, perhaps. Perchance there are some tattoons in this general direction. Or there are absolutely none. My favorite. Well, this is just a wonderful, wonderful adventure. I'm gonna cut to the next time we get some tattoons. Okay? Okay. Um, there's one directly underneath this lily pad. But I don't know how to get it. I mean, obviously I have to flip this thing over. Oh god, where did you come- Did I just take damage to that thing? Well, for that, you're gonna have to die. For being the first one ever to damage me. You're gonna have to die. Alright, great. Now that we got that out of the way, let's try flipping over this thing. Maybe if I, like, somersault out of the thing, or spin out of this, and then land on it, absolutely nothing will happen. Okay. Bomb seems like a pretty stupid idea. Um... Uh, how can I possibly... Unless I go in there and take damage. Maybe if I just spin near it. Maybe that won't work at all. Okay. How do I get this thing? I see you, but you won't come out. Is there any way I can, like, whip it over, I wonder? Not at all. Okay. Bombs probably wouldn't work. Maybe bombs would work. Let's try bombs. Let's try jumping over there. I hope I didn't just drop that bomb. Let's try jumping over here. Placing a bomb on top of this. Why not? That seems like a stupid enough crazy idea that it'll work. That's That was a completely stupid idea. What was I thinking? Apparently angered that guy because it was so stupid. Uh, I wonder if I can shoot him. Not you. Him. If I was to shoot the tad tone, it'll just stick in his back. Okay. Well, isn't that great? Whoa, you can draw the bow with the nunchuck, that's pretty cool. And since I can't reverse that, I'm gonna waste my last arrow. Uh, Beetle, get me out of this situation. Oh, okay, go in the water. What do I do here? Am I, like, ridiculously stupid? Claw shots! Go! Claw shots are not helping at all. Don't, don't tell me I have to jump from the... 
Jump from the tree. Okay, well that's convoluted. Okay, well I finally made it to the top of this tree. And it's quite obviously there. So I swear to god if I miss this jump. Oh, thanks sweet Jesus. I'm assuming that's the first tattoo you're actually supposed to get because you can just jump off a tree to get it and not have to head through the bottom like I just did right now. Which was kind of annoying. Alright, well I'm gonna kill him. And now there are only two more sets of tattoos that I need to get. At least I think. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. Let's make this long episode go even longer. I know I'm editing out a bit, but I am at 30 minutes right now, so. Let's just douse. Where to go next? Okay, so there's some over there. And... Uh... They're over there. Okay. Got that established. Now where? Wait! One right here! There's one right underneath me? Okay. Well, that's certainly a good sign. I don't even think I need to cut. Oh! They're right there! How did I miss those giant set of tad tones? Alright, well then. Let me just spin through you guys. Okay, that's great. And we only have one more set left. I don't know what it is. I think it's just one single tad tone, or maybe it's four. Yeah, it looks like it's four. Okay, what direction are they in? Let me just douse in and I'll cut to where they are. They're over there. Okay, I'll meet you guys over there. Oh my god, there they are! Okay, I got one. And I got them all. And that is all the tad tones. Thank god. That took forever. Isn't even that pretty. Uh -huh. Oh, Braver, you gather all the chat toads, haven't you? That's no small feat. Or should I say, no small bait? Hehe, <laughs> I can make punch! You should probably go see the water dragon. Yeah, but I think we'll do that in the next part, considering how long this episode's gone on for. So, thank you guys for watching. In the next part, we will go ask the water dragon about these tad toads and why she made me waste half an hour getting them. See you guys then.